Afghan journalists worked incredibly hard over the past 20 years to build a thriving media industry that consisted of hundreds of newspapers, broadcasters, blogs, magazines, radio stations. In a very short amount of time, all of the work that Afghan journalists had put into building this thriving media industry came under a great deal of threat. Afghanistan is one of the world's most dangerous countries for journalists. In the last six months, 15 media workers have been killed in the region. Throughout 2021, in expectation of the withdrawal of U.S. forces from Afghanistan, the Committee to Protect Journalists was trying to understand who were the journalists who were in the country who were going to be at the most risk following the withdrawal and what can we do to help them. It was obvious the Taliban was advancing militarily. A lot of people looked ahead and saw, this is not going to end well. Everyone began to ask for help, saying, just the fact that I'm a journalist makes me be in a lot of trouble. Around August 15th, when the Taliban took control of Kabul, that's when we just received a, an unbelievable number of requests for help. I must leave my country. I can't live here. Why can't you? It's not safe for you? I'm a journalist. If they know, I know they will kill me. I love my country, but I can't stay here. We realized it was going to be a really big crisis for not just the Asia team, but all of CPJ. We have our person in Nairobi, we have someone in Spain, we have someone in Colombia. Everyone came together to work on the Afghanistan crisis. We were on high alert. We were working around the clock, fielding requests, thousands of them. This has been the worst crisis CPJ has had to deal with. We were sort of holding our breath with the people trying to get to the airport. As an organization, in this critical moment, we had one mission to provide safe passage to as many journalists as we possibly can. There would be, I would say, scores, if not hundreds of people who would still be stuck there if it weren't for the efforts of CPJ. We take a lot of satisfaction in the people we have helped to get out and resettle, but there's so many more people. I get messages from journalists every day say, I'm about to be killed. Can you help me get out of the country? Since the Taliban takeover, attacks against the press in Afghanistan have included beatings, arrests, shootings, and other forms of violence against journalists. The Taliban has introduced a new set of rules. What it amounts to is full control of the media. You think a journalist can stay in Afghanistan? I mean, I sit in the airplane. I said to myself in my heart, uh, now you don't have anything. One of the most important things that we do is let journalists know that they are not alone. Let them know that we're here and we're going to do whatever it takes to help them. Right now, after the kind of initial chaos and crisis, CPJ is continuing to help journalists who are in Afghanistan. For many journalists who have left, we are now providing them with exile support to live while they get on their feet and start their new life. It's really rewarding to have real impact on the lives and safety of journalists and to help the cause of press freedom around the world. When the Taliban rolled into Kabul, the city, it had blossomed in the interim. Afghanistan has changed. And I think the hope is that many of the things that have changed in civil society, including an active media, highly independent, highly critical, well-trained journalists, will find a way to persist.